Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. Today I shall be taking up Unit 13 titled The Romantic Age, Important Writers. This is the third video of this particular unit of the program ME English Semester 1 Course English Social and Cultural History Block 4 Literature Romantic to Modern. I shall start with a table of contents where I shall be presenting learning objectives followed by introduction a discussion on important writers of this particular age, questions to check your progress, followed by the references. Now coming to the learning objectives, after going through this unit, you will be able to discuss some of the important writers of the Romantic Age. You will be able to list some of the major works by these writers and also appreciate the spirit of Romanticism and the characteristics that define the age. To introduce you to this particular topic, after having learned about the intellectual context of the Romantic Age, in the first video and the major literary forms of the age in the second video, the learner will be provided brief information on some of the most important romantic writers and their works. Some of the representative writers of this age have been highlighted only for your study. They are namely S.T. Coleridge, William Wordsworth, Robert Southey, Lord Byron, P.B. Shelley, John Keats, Jane Austen, Walter Scott, William Hazlitt and Charles Lamb. To discuss the important writers starting with Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Coleridge was one of the three prominent lake poets. He is probably best known for the poem Kubla Khan uh, as well as for his major prose work Biographia Literaria. Coleridge's contribution to Romanticism was remarkable for the treatment of mysterious and supernatural subjects in a manner that bestowed an illusion of reality. His greatest poems include Frost at Midnight, Franz and Ode, Kubla Khan, the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, which is widely anthologized, and the first part of Christabel, which were all composed during 1797 to 1798. Next, we shall uh, provide a highlight on William Wordsworth. In Wordsworth Poetic Over, we find some of the uh, best romantic poems, and it is he who exhibits in his romantic association with nature the realization of the divine and the spiritual elements inherent in nature. Remarkable for uh, their display of a sense of serenity and tranquility, his poems seem to be keen observations on nature and uh, commonplace experiences of life seen around him. Wordsworth reached the zenith of his poetic career with immortal creations which include The Solitary Reaper, Michael, Westminster Bridge, The Prelude and Ode to Intimations of Immortality. Next, we shall discuss about Robert Saadi. Robert Saadi forms the last of the triad known as the Lake Poets. Okay? So the other two, uh, as you already know, Coleridge and Wordsworth. Robert Saadi was uh, made the Poet Laureate in 1830. His reputation as a poet rests mainly on poems like Joan of Arc, Thalaba, The Destroyer, The Curse of Kehama and Roderick, The Last of the Gods. The next poet is George Gordon Byron. Yes, that's Lord, Lord Byron, as he was popularly known. Uh, he was reputed to be one of the most expressive poets of his times, um, voicing displeasure at the failure of the idealism associated with the French Revolution. Uh, some of his best known uh, poems are Mazeppa, Child Harold's Pilgrimage, among others. Percy by Shelley, that's P.B. Shelley. In him we find, um, as in other romantic poets, an intensely passionate liking for everything uh, represented in nature which he rendered in extremely melodious verse. Some of the important works are Queen Map, Revolt of Islam, Witch of Atlas, Adonis, Prometheus Unbound, The Cloud, The Skylark, The West Wind, among others. John Keats, now that's a famous name. The greatness of Keats and his verses lie in its sensitiveness towards the idea of beauty, which he worships with the unreserved ecstasy of a devotee. Some of the uh, great odes are The Nightingale, Grecian Urn and Eve of St. Agnes. Uh, the sensuous richness of uh, Keatsian verse emanates from the passion for beauty revealed through extraordinarily fresh and energetic compositions. Next, we shall discuss Jane Austen. Jane Austen uh, brought to prominence the novel of manners in which she explored uh, with unparalleled expertise, the potentialities of social experiences with a seemingly uh, narrow mode of existence. 
Her most famous novels include Pride and Prejudice, Emma, Sense and Sensibility, Persuasion and Mansfield Park. Sir Walter Scott. Walter Scott was a Scottish a historical um, novelist, playwright and poet. Sir Walter Scott has, to his credit, several work which include uh, Guy Mannering, The Heart of Midlothian, Evenhoe and Kenilworth, among others. Scott's style reveal uh, his long description of the locale uh, combined with an exactness and vividness uh, which uh, enhances uh, his realism that he represents in his work. Then we shall discuss a little bit about William Hazlitt. Hazlitt uh, was an essayist and a highly regarded critic of art, literature and politics. He is mainly uh, remembered for his essays such as On Going, A Journey, On Actors and Acting, on the pleasures of painting, which he contributed to several periodicals and later published uh, in volumes such as Table Talk and The Round Table. And uh, now we shall discuss a little bit about Charles Lamb. Charles Lamb achieved success with critical literature for the first time with his volume uh, titled Tales from Shakespeare, published in 1807, written in a collaboration with his sister. It was the Essays of Elia which uh, was published at intervals in the London Magazine in 1823, which established him uh, as one of the most delightful essays of England and the most loved and popular as well. Uh, some of his best known works include Imperfect Sympathies, Dream Children, while a dissertation upon a rose pig received wide acclaim for its extravagance. So with this, we come to the end of the unit. Now I shall leave you a few questions, questions to check your progress, starting with question number one. Uh, name some of the representative writers of the Romantic Age. Question number two, uh, mention the names of the three famous poets known as the Lake Poets. Question number three, what were the special characteristics of poetry of S.T. Coleridge and William Wordsworth? Question number four, what did um, Jane Austen explore in her novels? referred to as novel of manners. Question number five mentions some of the important works by the essayists William Hazlitt and Charles Lamb. Coming to the references, I hope you will also refer to the ME English SLM of our university. With this, we come to the end of this particular unit and the video. This is the third and the final video. I wish you all the best and thank you heartily, dear learner friends.